Hi there, and um, it's been such a long time, I just haven't had time to do any of these videos. I've been trading, well, originally started in 2015, and I've been trading pretty much every week since then, obviously a few breaks for holidays and things like that, and uh, still doing the same. So right now, I'm still working with Kim at the Price Action Traders Institute, I'm still teaching people how to trade Forex using our strategy, and three days a week, I'm still trading exactly the same strategy that I have been since 2015. So anyway, I thought, now that I'm living in Thailand full time now, a beautiful lifestyle, and just dipping in and out of the markets like I do using our strategy, suits me fine. But um, so what I thought I would do, I thought I would actually take the time to capture some of these screen events. Um, like I say, I'm doing this all the time, and if you want any evidence that I've been trading um, pretty much every week for three days, sometimes four days since 2015. Take a look at my Twitter account. It's at UK2Asia. That's the number two, at UK2Asia. And um, you, you can go back in history on there and you'll see that every day that I've traded, I've posted on there and the full history is available for anyone to see. Right, so anyway, I'm sitting down here. It's um, 25 past eight in the morning here in Thailand. And I'm looking at this Australian dollar news event. It's 2.30 a.m. in London. Now, living in London, I wouldn't be sitting up waiting for this. I'd be sound asleep. But uh, here in Thailand, it gives me a chance to have a look in on these Australian dollar red news events. So you can see at 2.30, we've got this Australian dollar news. It's the wage price index that I'm looking at. It's 3 minutes 37, 3 minutes 36, and counting down before the release of these numbers. And all I'm going to be doing is looking at the two Australian dollar pairs that I trade. I trade the Australian dollar US dollar and the Australian dollar Japanese yen. So I'll be watching those two and um, what I'll do, I'll pause this for now because we've still got three minutes left before the news event release. I'll start the video again before the release so you can see it actually kick in. You can see the effect that it has on the, on the Australian dollar real time. And I'll talk you through exactly how I trade it. I'll show you exactly what I'm looking for and what it is that might make me decide to take it long or take it short. But um, And it's a very, very simple strategy that we use. Okay, so I'll pause for now. I'll be back in a few minutes, uh, less than three minutes, and um, I'll show you exactly what we do when the news event's released. So I'm back with you, and I'm just checking... Firstly, I'm looking at the spreads up here, and uh, just looking at these two pairs, the Australian dollar, US dollar, Australian dollar, Japanese yen, seeing if there's any major moves on this active candle. Um, just going to check the Forex calendar. See if it's actually been released. Okay, so let me just check. Okay, starting to see a bit of a pulse down. Nothing too big though. When you consider that the whole of this grey box on this one is 29 pips, almost 30 pips, pulsing down within that box, what we like to see is a big, powerful move in either direction. Um, this one, it's a 15 pip range overnight. That's what the grey box indicates. It's um, it's the movement overnight so far, um, the Asian session. And you can see 15 pip Asian box, and it's barely pushing towards the bottom end of that. So it's not a big move. And let me just bring this into play. So if we have a look at this, you can see that the previous was 0.8. Um, the forecast was 0 0.9 and the actual was 0 0.8, uh, the wage price index. So there's not a big, a big difference between, usually what we need to see is a big difference between the actual and the forecast for us to get any kind of reasonable move. And you can see it's fairly close. Um, so that's it with the red news events. I've got nothing now until 7 o'clock London time. So that's 30 minutes before I do the live trade planning webinar. And I'll be looking in on this to see if there's uh, anything tradable on this. But right now, that Australian dollar news, let's close this. 
Okay, we're starting to see a shift down. But um, it's not really significant enough at the moment for me to risk any of my capital on it. See what else is going on. Let's have a look at the US dollars across the board. They're not doing anything, you can see, as we go through the US dollars. And let's have a look at the Japanese yens. Bit of downside movement. Could be helping to drive this one. Okay, bit of downside movement showing strength on the Japanese yen at the moment, which we're starting to see this pick up a bit of momentum now. Spreads are low. So this active candle on the Australian dollar Japanese yen, it's a 20 pip candle, 20 pip move. That could be being driven slightly by the Australian dollar news, but also it's got the added bonus of the Japanese yen strength coming into play, pushing it down. And I'm not, I'm not going to risk anything. I'm pausing, I'm thinking, shall I give it a go? We've got the Japanese yen working in the same direction. But, uh, you see, now I'm holding off and thinking, shall I, shall I? Okay, risk management is getting the better of me. And I'm thinking, no, I'm too indecisive to, to take a position on this. I'm going to stand aside. And part of your risk management as a Forex trader has to be that sometimes you won't take a position. Sometimes I'll sit down and look at um, look at the markets throughout the London session, which is what I trade, and I don't do I, I don't take anything at all. So okay, seeing this moving down now could have been in a bit of profit, but hindsight is always a wonderful thing. So I'm just going to shut this down. I'm not going to be tempted to pull myself into this. The move wasn't violent enough for me to get involved and um, take a news trade on this so there you go no positions taken on that australian dollar news but at least something you can see that risk management is all important and if you've got any doubts any hesita any hesitation sit on the sidelines and just hold on to your money there's always other opportunities okay i'll be back again soon in fact what i'll try and do i'll try and record that pound news that's coming up a little bit later on and um, get that one out as well thanks very much